When I am here, you lifted me. When I was down, mm, only you are my heaven. Ebenezer, Ebenezer, my stone of help. Only you are my heaven. Ebenezer, Ebenezer, my stone of help. Only you are my heaven. Ebenezer, Ebenezer. When I was down, you lifted me. Mm. When I called, mm. you answered me. My, my stone, stone of help, only you are my help. So we are going to Psalm 83 this morning. Let's turn to Psalm 83. And let's see what the Word of God has to give us this morning. Hallelujah. Our text this morning, Psalm 83, it, uh, it depicts, you know, and give us a background of the biblical and post-biblical. It gives us a peep into the post-biblical traits over the nation Israel that is still prevalent today. Today, Hamas want to wipe out Israel. Iran want to wipe out Israel. Amen. Amen. Almost all the Arab countries that surround Israel want to wipe out Israel. This threat has always been there. But yet, Jehovah has been faithful in keeping Israel. But the only time Israel were defeated was when they decided to go against the law of Jehovah. But as long as iniquity was not found in Jacob, there was no nation that could conquer Israel as a nation. And that brings us to the fact that it does not matter the threat and the plans of the enemy. What matter is, are you living in obedience to the Lord? That is what matters. Amen. Because yeah. the Bible says, the angel of the Lord does what? It encampment around them that fear the Lord. The Lord is a shield unto his own. Is a refuge and a fortress. Let's go to that Psalm 83. Let's look at verse 4 of Psalm 80, 83. Psalm 83, verse 4, verse 4. Somebody come please and read for me loudly. Fast, fast, fast. Psalm 83 for verse 4. Come this. <clears throat> come they say, let us wipe out Israel as a nation. So the threat to wipe out Israel that Iran is beheading. It didn't start today. It's always been there. But at a point, they were conquered and scattered. The, the northern kingdom scattered. At the point, Judah too was scattered, sent, taken as captive to Babylon for 70 years. Even more than 70 years, they were still in captivity. So the threat of one of the reasons why you must live holy life is because of what? The threat of what? Of the enemy. There was a threat. There was a confrontation. It was a gang up. Eh? Continue. Come, let us what? Come, come, they say. Let us wipe out Israel as a nation. We will destroy the very memory of its existence. Are you hearing Their plan is to what? Is to wipe out and Saudi Arabia. I mean, uh, Iran has been spearheading this threat of you in our, in our, in our own time. The threat has always been there. But yet, Israel is still existing. The only times they were conquered was what? And wiped away was what? When they were, when they sinned against Jehovah. Oh yeah, continue. Eh? Yes. 
This was their unanimous decision. Unanimous or unanimous? Eh? Is it um, unanimous or unanimous? Unanimous. Um, the unanimous. It should be unanimous. Unanimous decision. Decision. They sign a treaty as Alice against you. Right? They sign a treaty. They are in agreement. They are like they are, they are, Iran is leading a rebellious you know, treaty against Israel. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. These Edomites and Ishmaelites, Moabites and Hagrites, Gebalites, Ammonites and Amalekites, and people from Philistia and Tyre. Assyria has joined them too and is allied with the descendants of Lot. Do to them as you did to the Midianites and as you did to Caesarea and Jabin at the Kishon River. They were destroyed, they were destroyed at Endor and their decaying corpses fertilized the soil. Let their mighty nobles die as Oreb and Zeb did. Let all their princes die like Zeba and Zamuno. For they said, let us cease for our own use, these pastoral lands of God. Are you remember one thing I love with the, with the people of Israel? They know their land was a land for God. Their part, land is what? Just like the disciple center is what? It's a land for God. Mm. Amen. I remember that day when we went there to go and pray after we bought that land. I was praying and one of us said he saw an angel um, that came and stood in that place. He was there while we were praying all through. Amen. Amen. What makes a land belong to God is what? Is there is a supernatural activity in that land. Amen. 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 Praise yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is why the Sabbath Center, uh, center is what? Is, is God's land. Read on. And anybody who is supporting that project is what? Is supporting God's project. Yeah. Amen. If you are supporting the Sabbath Center project, you are what? What are you supporting? God's supporting God's is. project. Amen. Amen. And the Lord will continue to bless those who are supporting that project. They, are, they cannot go down. Their businesses will continue to flourish. Their job will continue to they continue to receive promotion because they are investing in God's pasture, in God's pasture land, in God's project. They have to be blessed. Mm. Uh -huh. Read on. Oh my God, scatter them like tumbleweed, like chaff before the wind. So shall the Lord do to the enemies of Israel today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Lord will scatter Iran. Amen. He will scatter uh, the Lebanese people, the Egyptians, all the country, Yemen, Babren, all those, all those, all those Yeshua's nations. The Lord will use them to fertilize the land of Israel. Amen. Hamas and all his cronies, they will go down and Israel will continue to stand in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall God do to the full and caliphate in this nation. All the terrorists, the bandits, and all the wicked people, the politicians. So shall God. God, what is God do to them? Do what? Scatter them like tumbleweed, like chaff before the wind. So shall God do to the, all these wicked politicians in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh -huh. As a fire burns a forest, and as a flame sets mountains ablaze, chase them with your fierce storm, terrify them with your tempest. Utterly disgrace them until they submit to your name, O oh Lord. Amen. So shall Amen. God do to the enemy of Nigeria. Amen. And all the enemies of Israel, of God today, the nation Israel today, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone that gang up against God's elect, God's chosen, the remnant of God in Nigeria, so shall the Lord do to them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let them be ashamed and terrified forever. Amen. Let them die in disgrace. Amen. So shall it be to the enemy of this family and this ministry. Amen. So shall the Lord do to the enemy of this ministry, Amen. the enemy of this family, Amen. the enemy of God's children in Nigeria. Amen. So shall the Lord do to the enemy of Israel as a nation. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the Lord will scatter them. Amen. And the Lord will, 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 will usher them into their early grave. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Eh? Then they will learn that you, that you alone are called the Lord, mm -hmm. that you alone are the Most High, mm -hmm. supreme over all the earth. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord alone is what? But look at what verse 1 says. Read verse 1. Oh God, do not be silent. Do not be deaf. Do not be quiet, oh God. Mm. Don't you hear the uproar of your enemies? Don't you see that your arrogant enemies are rising up? They devise crafty schemes against your people. They conspire against your precious ones. Come, they say, let us have passage as a nation. That is verse 4. No, verse 1 to 3. You see, you say, Lord, do not be what? Silent. Do not be silent. May the Lord not be silent over the case of Nigeria. Amen. Any longer in the name of Jesus. Amen. May the Lord not be silent Amen. over the case of Nigeria, Amen. over the case of Israel, over the case of Ukraine, Amen. 
the Lord will be silent over the case of every one of his own people, wherever we are, over the case of this family, over the case of the friends and partners. The Lord will not be silent over your case. Amen. The Lord will come to you quickly. You shall be, there shall be redemption early for you. The Lord will show up for you early. He will not be silent. He will Amen. not be quiet. Amen. The Lord shall intervene. Amen. And those who plot evil against us, evil shall befall them. Amen. Those who plot to continue to do evil, to kidnap, to, to collect ransom, the Lord will visit them with evil. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. They come, the kidnappers shall be visited with terror. Amen. The Lord shall thunder against kidnappers, Amen. against the full and ravenous, full and headsmen, terrorist full and headsmen. The rising people from community to community, the burning and killing. The Lord will terrorize them. Amen. The Lord will smash them to the grave. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What do we do? Amen. Amen. To secure God's response. So that God will now, he said, their corpses become fertilizers. Mm. What do we do to secure God's judgment against our adversaries? We must what? We must live holy lives. We must what? What does he must do? Live holy lives. And then we must be what? We must be prayerful. We must live kind of life. Holy life. life and and be prayerful. The problem is that we are prayerful, but we're not living holy life. Amen. We are what? We are prayerful, but we're not living holy life. That's the problem. The Nigerian, Nigerians are praying. The Nigerian Christians are praying. But they neglect holy living. You see, Israel is supposed to be holiness to the Lord. We are supposed to be holiness to the Lord. Let's maintain holy living. Let's live holily, righteously. So that our prayer, because the Bible says, it is the effectual word, fervent prayer of the righteous that are valid. There are threats everywhere, even in this nation. How do we survive the not? Or through the not? We the not. We survive it. We survive Medjugorje. We survive Kaduna for years. We survive Medjugorje for years. I was always on the road in the not. In the midst of the terror going on everywhere. We survived it. It was the Lord. It was not because we were prayerful, but because we were what? By, we were by grace of God, the Lord helped us. We were living. A life of holiness who make sure that as far as God helped us, we are not sewing our, our hands and our garments. Amen. Amen. There is power in holy living. There is power in what? In holy living. When holiness jam with, 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 with prayer, what do you see? You see what? You see divine intervention. Let us receive grace this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace to maintain holiness. The grace to maintain what? Prayerfulness. Let's receive that grace this morning in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Lord, you will silence as many that have ganged up against us. Against this family, against this ministry. Against everyone connected to this family and ministry. Against our friends and partners. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that your judgment, O oh God, will be early, will be quick against them. There will be no delay judgment. You will judge them quickly in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. You will judge the enemies of your children in this nation, Nigeria. The enemy, the terrorist politicians, the terrorist Marada Fulani headsmen, and all the terrorist kidnappers and bandits, you will judge them in the name of Jesus. All the enemies of Israel, the, the Israel, in the nation Israel, you will judge their enemies. You will judge Hezbollah. You will judge Hamas. You will judge the Houthi rebels. You will judge every conspiracy. You will judge Iran. All that have conspired against Israel, you will judge them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You put them to shame. And the victory shall be that of your children. Amen. Shall be that of your church in Nigeria. Amen. Shall be that of this family and this ministry. Shall be that of our friends and partners and loved ones and all connected to us. Amen. Shall be that of, oh God, the nation and the church of the Lord in Nigeria Amen. and Israel as a nation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord. Hallelujah. We declare peace over this weekend. Amen. 
Lord, we ask, let your mercy locate us. Let your mercy flourish in our life. Let there be showers of mercy. Let there be showers of favor. Let there be showers of divine help. In the name of Jesus. Lord, when men are saying, they say, shall be saying, they say, lifting up. Our case is different this year. And forever, we will be living as children of the Lord. Gloriously fed with, you know, with, uh, you know, you know, fed, Lord, with choice meal, with fineness of wheat, in the name of Jesus, Amen. and with satisfy with the honey, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your name, Lord. Amen. Cover sex with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover the rapture of the discipleship ministry with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover friends and partners with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover everybody connected to us with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover the remain the this weekend with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Cover the new week with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, because February shall end in testimony for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Cover the Sabri Center with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Cover that center with the blood of Jesus. Blood Thank you, Father. Blood Blessed Jesus. be the name of the Lord. Amen. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. amen. The Lord bless you. I remain your brother Moses or George Enemy God Special, the coordinator of National Restoration Program of the, of the Global Action and also the coordinator of uh, Rapture Operation and Discipleship Ministry. The Lord bless you and preserve and keep you in the name of Jesus. If you are blessed, don't forget to, to share, to comment, to like, and then uh, to subscribe. And the Lord shall bless you richly in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Amen. See you tomorrow morning. Amen.